Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing April's full face of first impressions. I just received from Superdrug a bunch of makeup, which I've ordered, and I have enough to do a full face as per usual. So we're just going to get into it, really. So I am actually just going to start with my base and do it that way. Normally I would do my eyeshadow first, but I've only got one eyeshadow product and it's like a cream one, so I'm not really going to get any fallout from that. So I may as well just kind of do my, my base first and do it kind of the normal way. So to start with, I have a foundation. Didn't get a primer, so I'm just going to go on to foundation. And this is the Lottie London Selfie Ready Medium Coverage Matte Foundation in Ivory, which I believe is the lightest shade. I did get quite a lot of Lottie London products, just because I was curious to find them. So that's the colour. It's not like a perfect um, skin match for me. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and <laughs> apply this all on my face. And I'll use my um, sponge to apply this. Okay, so I've got kind of like one layer of that on. So I'll just let you have a look at that. Uh, the colour is not grey, it is a little bit orange to be honest. If I were to keep using that, I would probably definitely use a white foundation mixed with it. But I mean, it doesn't look really bad or anything, but I definitely would want that to be a little bit lighter. I think the coverage is not like amazing coverage, it's kind of like, I mean, it does claim to be medium. I would say it's kind of light medium. To be honest, like, I could still see a lot of, like, imperfections. Like, obviously, you, you can, like, it has done something. Like, I definitely have got some coverage there. I'm a bit meh about this. Like, it's okay, but it's not really wowed me or anything. The concealer I got is also a Lottie London one. This is the, um, Got It Covered Sponge Applicator Concealer in Fawn, which, correct me if I'm wrong, this is the light shade. Unfortunately, it is not very light, though. This is the swatch I did of it from earlier. As you can see, that is very orange. It looks like a like a nude lipstick. It does not look like a good skin colour match for me. So that is really disappointing. That that is what the colour is. But obviously, I'm still going to try it out anyway. I think what I'll do is I'll just put it on in the areas I need it. But then I might also kind of add a bit of this white concealer from Freedom over the top, just because I can't be orange all day. We'll go to work. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in with this. Obviously it's got that kind of spongy applicator. I'm just going to put this in all the areas where I need it. Alright, so I've just put that in the areas where I need coverage. Obviously it just looks so orange, so I'm going to have to put a bit of this white concealer on top and then I'll blend in. Hopefully it's not one of those really fast drying concealers. So, um... Okay, just put a bit of white and a bit that's where I need it. I have given that quite a decent amount of coverage. Obviously it's hard to tell what was the white concealer and what was the um Lottie London one because I really do like this um Freedom one. It does give quite a bit of good quite a blah, blah, blah. It does give quite a lot of coverage on its own so obviously I don't know which one's the one that's giving it the coverage or whether it's both of them together but um yeah that's pretty decent coverage obviously like even with the white mixer you can still see kind of like orange patches um so maybe it would be better to mix them on the back of my hand rather than like kind of just put it over the top of it if that makes sense the powder that I've got to set all this is not technically a first impressions because I have used this before but I did buy a new one because I ran out ages ago. This is the Collection Pressed Powder in Ivory and I'm a big fan of this. It's only $1.99 and for the price it's really good so I'm happy that I've got a new one. And it is a really pale colour which I'm going to need because I am looking a little bit orange now. So I am just going to set my face with this and hopefully my memory of this being good is accurate. We'll see. powder is pretty much as good as I remember it being, just mattifies your face, did kind of make me less orange, although I can still see the orange a bit, but um, yep, just perfect finish to the base in my opinion, I really like this powder, I do really recommend it, I think for the price it's really good, and especially if you're like really pale like me, this is just an amazing colour, 
and it has this really like talcum-y powder smell and it makes me feel really nostalgic because I feel like this is one of those products that people get when they're really young because it's so cheap and I definitely remember having this when I was younger and it just makes me really nostalgic the smell of this. So that's our base done and I'm going to use some cheap products now. The first I'm going to use a bronzer and the bronzer that I bought is the Max Factor Bronzing Powder in 01 Golden. I really like the packaging of this. And this is the colour and it's really pretty in my opinion. It's just like a really glimmery um, bronzer. You can kind of see where I've swatched it. It's quite, quite like a buttery texture which I like. This is a really good thing to have for the kind of spring summertime. I'm just going to get this big fluffy brush and dust this through my like kind of cheekbones. I really like that bronzer, I think it's a really pretty colour, you only need a tiny bit, don't go too overboard with it, but um, I like the way it applied. It's pretty nice really, I think it's good like summer essential. I have a Lottie London blush to try out, this is their Blush Crush Powder Blusher, and mine is in the shade... Mine is in the colour Zac, I think they're all named after like, kind of male celebrities, um, but this is kind of like a nice just pinky colour and I'm just going to pop this onto my cheekbones not my cheekbones actually, I'm going to pop this onto my cheeks okay, I like that, that's really pretty I did get two highlighters to try out so I'm not sure what I'm going to do here but um, the first highlighter I've got is the L'Oreal True Match Highlight um, I don't think there is a shade name, but this is gorgeous. It's like a really icy kind of highlight. Got a few different shades in there. I guess you would kind of swirl it around to make one, or I guess you could use the individual ones. But this looks gorgeous. You also get a little brush with it, which is pretty cool. I did also get the Lottie London Mermaid Glow Highlighter. This is a rainbow highlight. And yeah, it's pretty. I don't really know how to apply a rainbow highlight though. I am kind of intrigued by the rainbow highlight, so I think I'll use it. Um, oh god, I don't know how it's going to go exactly, because I'm not really sure the best way to apply this. But I'm just going to kind of sweep my brush through it. I am going to use the little L'Oreal one, and I'm just going to put this on my cheekbones. And then I think I'll use the L'Oreal one on like the areas that I want to highlight. Okay, I just kind of sweeped it through all the colours. Not much showed up there. I think I'll use a different brush. pretty and quite glowy but um I feel like the green for some reason showed up more than any of the other colours but um actually it does look quite pretty but I don't think I've got like that full on rainbow effect so I think I'll have to kind of find a different way to use that. I mean I could just kind of do it strip by strip which is what I've seen people do before but that's a lot of effort isn't it? <laughs> but that does actually look quite pretty. It's got more of a green glow at the moment. I will just blend that just a little bit. I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal one now and I'm just going to put this on my nose, my cubes, and my chin and I may go over my cheekbones just because I'm curious. I'm going to kind of like try and just mesh all the colours together. Okay, that glow though, I, I'm just, I'm so tempted so I am going to go over the um, rainbow highlight with this as well. That's gorgeous. <laughs> look at that. Obviously I've put way too much on and I will blend it out, but look at that. I think this is really good personally. I'm definitely gonna keep using this. I'm just gonna blend that out and then I need to switch memory cards because this one's all messed out. I think the L'Oreal one definitely stood out more than the rainbow one, but this is probably gonna be a new favorite. I really like it. Need to switch memory cards. So I'm next gonna do my eyebrows. The eyebrow product, 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 the eyebrow product that I have to try is the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil and I believe it is in Deep Brown and you've got the pencil on one end which is great and you've also got a little spoolie which spoolies are great so that's fantastic and I really like the NYX Micro Brow Pencil so hopefully this is kind of similar to that but I just want to quickly go through my brows with a clear gel just so um they're all like kind of groomed into place beforehand. This is a Rimmel one. Okay, we're just going to go in and fill our brows with this little pencil.
it's a little bit harsh like um before that i ran speedily through it it's definitely really harsh so you definitely need to kind of like run through it with something um well yeah, it's not too bad the color's okay i mean i know my hair's blonde at the moment but i'm still like gonna fill in my brows like dark colors just because they're naturally dark so i think it's a decent brown pencil it's a little bit harsh not gonna lie like they do look very Harsh. I'm gonna have to run through it with some brow gel. I'm just gonna use this um, Essence Make Me Brow Gel and just set my brows with that. I do have a kind of eyeshadow product to try out. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo um, Leather Effect by Eye Studio Vintage Plum. Obviously, these ones are talked about quite a lot. The um, color tattoos. Um, and I was just kind of curious, and I think it was like, buy one, get one half price of Maybelline or something. So that's the colour, you can kind of see my finger smearing it. It is just a kind of like, purpley colour, really. You didn't need me to tell you that, did you? Um, I don't really know, I've never really used cream eyeshadows before, so I guess you just kind of go with your finger and kind of blend it in that way. I'm not really sure. I'm just going to kind of see what happens. Okay, that's pretty. I don't know the best way to blend it though. I'm just gonna get a random blending brush and I don't really know what I'm doing to be honest. <laughs> I actually really like that. I think it's pretty. It's like a nice kind of style. Easy to kind of, you know, blend it in. I do actually have a black liquid liner to try out and this is the Lottie London Wing Woman Felt Tip Eyeliner. And I think I will just do a little bit of a wing with this. Now, so we're not the best wings I've ever done, but um, this is pretty good liquid liner. Li 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 <laughs> this is a pretty good liquid liner. It's quite a like dramatic black, and it's fairly easy to use. Not perfect, but fairly easy. So I mean, I don't know. I found it a bit difficult to do the wings, but um, I don't know whether that's me or the eyeliner, <laughs> to be honest. But um, this is pretty good. I like it. In terms of pencil liner, I have. A um, black coal pencil, this is the Max Factor coal pencil in 020 black and I also got this um, sleek ooh la la liner in dragon fruit and this is a pink one. I'm not going to use this but I did kind of get this to use in some of my spring makeup looks but that's what it looks like if you're interested. It's a very vibrant like pinky red colour but I am going to use the black liner on my um, water lines and I'm just going to go in for it really. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, it's a little bit dry, that's my only complaint, but the colour comes out really well. Really dramatic black, really easy to apply, and I think it's great. So now I want to use some mascara, and the mascara that I've got to use is the Sleek Lethal Length Mascara. It comes in a very sleek looking tube. That's what the brush looks like. I'm just going to coat my eyelashes to death with this, uh, do the top and bottom ones. That's not mascara on, I'm not really that blown away by it to be honest. It is more lengthening than it is like volumizing or thickening. It does give a bit of length, but as you can see, it's not done an awful lot. I am just going to let it dry and then maybe go on with another coat and see if I can build up any volume. But at the moment, eh, not that impressed. Okay, I'm going to try and um, build up another coat of that mascara. See if we can get anything extra. Built up another coat, still a bit more, but I'm still not that impressed by my lashes. I've got three different lip products that I've brought, and these are all kind of spring kind of themed lip colours. So I've kind of brought these to use in some spring makeup looks. Um, so I don't know which one I want to use today. I got two of the MUA Luxe Lip Lacquers, the velvet ones, 
Um, I got one in sugar coated, which is a very pale pink colour. And then I've got one in iced, and this is a very like pastely blue colour, which is gorgeous. Then I also got a Sleek Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream and this is in the shade French Fancy and that is just like a really nice, nice hot pink colour. I think I'll try the um, MUA Velvet Lip Lacure in Sugar Coated because this is the most neutral one and I don't want to go too overboard at the moment. <laughs> so I'm just going to try this on my lips. So it's a very like intense colour, it's not going to like suit everyone, I don't even know if it suits me to be honest. A little bit patchy, it's pretty cute. It's probably going to make your teeth look a little bit yellow as well, but I think it'll probably work a bit better with like a lip liner underneath or something, just to make it look a bit more opaque. Okay, so that is all of the products I'm going to try and this is my finished makeup. I'm not mega happy with it to be honest, I like the eyes and lips, but... The base, oh my god, I just look really orange, like you put, the camera probably doesn't show it, but as I look to my mirror, this side, I just look really orange and it's annoying me because I've got to go to work and I don't know if I can tolerate being this orange in public, but I can't really be asked to do my makeup again. Yeah, I'd say that the Lottie London concealer and foundation didn't really impress me that much to be honest. Especially the concealer. This is just way too orange. I think I will use the foundation again, but with a white mixer. The foundation's not too bad. It's not awful, but I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I just look really orange right now. I love the collection press powder. I think this is great. I did actually really like the cheek products. I really liked the bronzer and I also really liked the blush. I thought they were really good. And I'm in love with this L'Oreal highlighter. This is amazing. I'm going to keep using this. This is beautiful. Not that impressed with the mascara, but I did really like the liquid liner and the pencil liner and the matte Sapter and the Lottie London ones, I did think they were really good. I also really liked the um, Maybelline colour tattoo, I think that worked pretty good as well. But this is the finished look. So that's it for April then and I look forward to next month and trying some more beauty products. But uh, anyway, I had fun doing this. Um, so I will see you in my next video, goodbye.